Taman Sari Water Castle is one of the famous tourism places in Yogyakarta. Not only the royal heritage style of building and very awesome craft in some walls, there is also Taman Sari village around water castle building that can attract everyone to visit. The village is very unique because almost all of the houses are decorating like an art gallery. Most of the villagers are an artist. Batik lukis or kaos lukis, silhouette drawer, bird's cage crafter, boutique and an art gallery cabin. So, in one village, there are many varieties of artworks that can be produced. How is that so? The story happened when... In the very first time, after an earthquake in 18th century that destroyed some parts in water castle building, the king of Yogyakarta sent Abdidalem, his soldier, to manage and take care of it. Then, they were living around the Taman Sari and create their own village. The village is near to one of popular traditional market in the past named Pasar Ngasem. They were living in happiness. One day, a villager got an idea. He tried to make batik with his paintbrush on canvas. Then, he displayed it in his house. The visitors who were visiting Taman Sari and Pasar Ngasem always passed Taman Sari village. Then, they saw his batik painting and because they were interesting, they bought it. Got a lot of money with his batik innovation art. His neighbors turned and they started to follow his business, be a batik lukis painter. From that business, people in the village curbed a lot of money to live their life. But the tragedy happened. Government relocated Pasar Ngasem Jogja on April 2010. It means they lost almost half of visitors there. They couldn't get enough income. Some of them collapsed because of that policy. The situation stressed them to find another job or business. Some of them started to develop batik lukis to cows lukis, and some of them trying to be silhouette drawer, a bird's cage crafter, make their own boutique or be an entrepreneur of art gallery cafe. Thank you.